There she is, the ride. All right, so we are off to grab the uh, Ford Ranger. The weather looks okay. It's just supposed to um, drizzle a little bit. So the weather should be fine. I'm not expecting any bad weather. I'm pretty excited about picking up this little truck. We're gonna use it for like a mini Overland series. It's something to play with, so you have to stay tuned and see what happens. But um, let's get in this truck and get going. I'm not particularly happy being out in the snow with my truck. Um, she's on a low salt diet. And I've also never had it in the snow, so I have no idea how it's gonna do. I never recommend being on the interstate in a snowstorm. In the back of this truck is like a ramp, so if someone rear ends us, uh, yeah, you're dead. Nothing like getting passed by a semi-truck in a snowstorm. Roads are absolute crap. All right, so we just narrowly avoided a pileup. Um, the roads are horrible and that was scary. I tried to slow down a little bit because there was a pile of cars that just slowed down out of nowhere because of the road conditions. And uh, as soon as I touched a brake, the whole truck slid almost off the highway onto the shoulder. It got a little sideways. It stalled because the brakes stopped the transmission, which stopped the engine. So I had no engine. Started it, got it running while moving, got it back on the highway, and now here we are in a pretty crappy situation. I mean, the snow is so thick, it's insane. So we'll see what happens. All right, we, we made up the highway to a police barrack, barely. Turns out the old flatbed truck is actually really good in the snow. There she is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I almost ate semi with the front of that thing. Got no heat because the duck's all closed up. And it's like that wet, thick snow, you know? <laughs> Get all this out of here. Jeez. Well, um, we're gonna probably hang out here until some plow trucks go by. We might have to get a hotel. I'm obviously gonna miss work tomorrow. Um, if I knew it was gonna be this bad, there's no way I would have risked my life and my wife, Stephanie, who came with me, uh, getting a vehicle. Just, there's no way. This is literally a freak snowstorm. I checked the weather. I checked the um, road conditions. They were all fine. It was raining. It was said to have a little bit of um, snow uh, but by me, but it was just like a drizzle. It wasn't supposed to be anything more than a flurry. This is a lot more than a flurry. This is about four inches of slushy goo. Okay, so we've come up with a plan. There has to be a hotel. I could see it, but I don't know if I can get there from here. That's the hotel. So we've run into a silly problem. Um, hill we're on is covered in snow and it goes to a valley and then goes up a hill but we need a run to get up there so i was waiting for the light to turn green so that i could book it through there there's only one problem the light will not turn green unless there's a vehicle sitting there Well, we made it to the hotel. That was nuts. The snow is like a really wet snow, really, it's really slippery, like bad. Now this truck weighs uh, reaching for 5,000 pounds and it, it made it, but barely. So I didn't want to find out it was good in the snow, but I guess it is. Love that thing. I guess I got a hotel day. Yeah, just a basic room, not crazy. Something better than the single cab 87 Toyota truck. <laughs> well, babe, we got a snow day. No, but I'm starving. I didn't eat before we left. Oh, was yeah, you were. <laughs> Who was rushing you? You. <laughs> Look at all that snow. Ah, hotel room. You know, I don't know, babe. I kind of like the uh, the Hilux. 
Right, now that we're in our hotel room, we... Well, it's just a room, but it's a room that ain't the truck. I don't, would you prefer the uh, cab or the, the tow truck stuff? I don't mind it. I am bored out of my mind. I've been here for three minutes. Nothing, nothing to do. I can watch TV. I don't wanna watch TV. Oh, we can watch those losers on YouTube. Is that It's Deza? It's somewhat entertaining. I could probably watch them. Yeah, I could live vicariously through their sufferings. Got no booze, nothing. No one could deliver food. We didn't eat. It is 01 of 23. And a cone on the back. This poor guy has shoveled this entire sidewalk all the way past there on the other side of the building after plowing this parking lot. And he's just shoveling away. And that's some heavy snow, man. Look at him go. Look how heavy that is. Ugh. Dude, kudos to this man. I don't even know who you are, but but thank you. Thank you. We made it. We got out of our hotel a little early and we made it down uh, to where this guy lives, which is in the middle of nowhere. Well, we made it home. There is the Hilux pulling the Ford Mazda truck. Worked out great. Um, bit of a crazy ride to get there. The weather was really scary. There was actually two or three wrecks on our way back that they were still cleaning up. I mean, twisted semis. Um, but we got there, got back safe. We did take a hotel, obviously. Um, but we made it. So, got another truck. So, the plan for this truck. I really don't have one. It's just supposed to be a daily. Um, nothing fancy, you just want to drive it. And uh, if we have some Ram Adventure, I'm probably gonna leave a cap on it so I could just go. Um, we have the rigs, we have the Jeeps. Now our dailies are capable too. So yeah, that's the plan anyway. I'm glad it made it.